क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा चैप्टर केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम एंड वी आर डूइंग द कांसेप्ट होमोजेनियस एंड हेटेरोजेनियस रिएक्शन हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ए न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज हेटेरोजेनियस एंड होमोजेनियस रिएक्शन सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट व्हाट इज रिएक्टेंट एंड व्हाट इज टू बी कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोडक्ट एंड इन दैट केस वी हैव गॉट टू नो दैट दैट इज फॉर्म बिकॉज़ ऑफ द केमिकल रिएक्शन ओनली so uh, in chemical reaction now we are going to talk about so now chemical reactions are also divided into uh, two types and that is based on the phase of uh, the reacting mixtures or the product so that is the reason that we are going to talk about this kind of new topic uh, that is uh, what are the two main uh, types that is homogeneous and heterogeneous kind of reaction so let us talk about it So now starting with the first one, that is uh, what is a homogeneous reaction, and uh, let us understand uh, what does it means. So homogeneous reaction is a reaction in which all the substances involved uh, exist in a single homogeneous phase. Means all the substances that are really involved in a chemical reaction are of the single phase. So let me give an example, and uh, it would be uh, good to understand. In uh, so let me give an example, and then it would be very much easy to understand that what is actually a homogeneous reaction. suppose if we have uh, or if we are reacting that is uh, hydrogen with that of chlorine so whenever a hydrogen is being reacted with chlorine we could obtain hcl but this reaction is not balanced so for that uh, we could uh, easily balance it by just adding or by just uh, making this stoichiometry uh, as 2 Times of HCl. So now this uh, is the reaction uh, that has been balanced over here, and because H2 and Cl2 they are, are both reacting with each other, or they are certain kind of substances they will react with each other so as to form a new kind of product that is HCl, which is very much different from that of the reactant, and uh, that is the reason that these two are known as reactants, and uh, this is known as product. So that is the thing that we have did earlier also. But uh, talking about the main thing that is uh, why these are called to be homogeneous phase. So that is what I wanted to explain. we know that hydrogen is uh, the one which is present in a gaseous phase while that of the chlorine gas even uh, it is of a gaseous phase so whenever the gaseous uh, h2 and the gaseous cl2 they both react with each other so firstly they will form that is a gaseous form of hcl that is what we are observing over here so in this case if we could see then or if we observe then we will get to know that uh, the reactant uh, species or the reactant uh, uh, molecules they are of the same phase that is gaseous phase but more even the product that has been formed even that is of a gaseous phase so in this case we could say that all the kind of substances that are been involved in this reaction uh, whether it would be reactant or whether it would be a product so the all the substances are been of a same phase and that is a gaseous phase and that is the reason that this kind of reactions uh, where they will have a single phase or they will have a, a one phase is basically known as uh, homogeneous reactions so this is what we have did and uh, let us understand uh, the next one that is the heterogeneous so heterogeneous reaction is a reaction in which the substances involved are present in different phase so that is what i will explain with the help of an example uh, like this one that is when carbon is reacted with the uh, oxygen it forms carbon dioxide but if we note that uh, the carbon is the one which is present in a solid phase so this is what we could have the carbon uh, is in solid phase but that of the oxygen it is always in a gaseous phase in a room temperature also so therefore this should uh, so that's why this one is of the gaseous phase and talking about the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is also is present in a gaseous phase so in this case we could find the two of the substances are of the gaseous phase while one of the substances is of solid phase so this makes uh, one of the substances to be different from the other two and in this case overall if you could see that we could find a difference in the phase and that is uh, what we could see a solid uh, carbon when it is reacted with the, the gaseous oxygen it forms a carbon dioxide and that is a gaseous phase but meanwhile the reacting species or the reactant in this case the carbon we are talking about that is of different phase compared to that of the other one And that is the reason this kind of reactions are basically known as heterogeneous reaction because the word hetero means different, and that's it. And I wanted to explain. So there are different kind of reaction in the which are very important to classify. So these are the two main classification of the uh, types of reaction based on their phase or phase difference or something. And this is what I have explained. So that's it. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have liked this video and you have understood the concept behind what is homogeneous and what is heterogeneous chemical reaction. 
uh, i hope you will have liked this video and uh, you share this video with your friends and just don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much